So it has come to my attention that there are a lot of people who dislike that I screenshot things and post them in a video. It's a very common practice that a lot of YouTubers do, but I think the thing that people disliked is that I would use people's Reddit tags, and the only reason that I would do that is to credit the person that asked the question. But I see now that it's inherently not a good idea. So from now on, I will still screenshot, but people with personal accounts will not be shown. I hope this fixes the problem with everybody, but it probably won't. <laughs> So for today's news story, we're going to be talking about Facebook for a little bit. It shows that they have a new post, and it's about the uh, AMA that we talked about in the last video. The only thing that's really new about it is what it says at the top here, and it says, Void is hard at work, deep into crunch time, to let off some steam. And they continue to say with their AMA. I find that interesting, because if they're at crunch time, that means that they have a crap ton of stuff to show, I hope. All right, moving on to the next one. We're going back to the wealth of information that is Reddit. So there's actually quite a lot to unpack here. So let's go ahead and start with death, dying sounds. The Reddit or not devs are doing anything to make the game as realistic as possible. So for voice acting, I would assume there will be some lines for choking on blood and scream in agony for that scary grim feel to it. Just imagine your best pal on the other side of the doorway, then get shot right in the upper chest and is wheezing, trying his best to scream out, I'm hit, help, or some suspect runs up to you with a knife. You were too late to react and get stabbed right in the stomach then you fall on the floor your teammate rushes in to help and shoot the suspect in the throat and you can hear him suffering from loss of oxygen as he's choking on his own blood and you're screaming in pain begging for a medic give me your opinion on this i did my best to make a graphic to paint a picture in your head oh you sure did in the comments somebody had said these were a part of my audition did they already do the auditions Aww. And the developer replies with, damn right they were. Moving on to the next one. What game will the gunplay most resemble? I'm thinking, backslash guessing, Squad, Escape from Tarkov, and Insurgency, right? And someone in the comments says, its own. Ooh. And the developer replies with, Roblox for sure. <laughs> It really is short of its own thing. The combat can be super intense at times, disorienting if you aren't paying attention. I can't wait to show you guys, but if I was to mix a few, a hint of squad, a dash of fear, and just a pinch of insurgency. Somebody replies with, great to hear you're taking inspiration from Roblox. And the developer replies with, this game of its generation, hands down. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, these devs sometimes, man. All right, we're well, moving on to the next one. Will bullets come out of the barrel, or will you shoot where the reticle is aiming? It was a pretty good argument for either or. While the former is more realistic, it could be frustrating, and the level of frustration is not realistic, as you would never accidentally fire a gun into a wall in front of you if you are trying to aim over backslash around it, lol. But they could possibly dodge this bullet by just not being able to fire your gun if the barrel is up against a wall or something. Squad has this issue when you are shooting while crouched backslash prone in front of cover, but it's not an issue around walls. I think either or definitely has its problem. Problems, as it feels good when you can only see someone's head and they shoot you from the gun you can't see but it also feels clumsy and clunky to try to fire above cover but you fire into the cover yet you will never have the level of environmental awareness in a video game as you do in IRL so this isn't really your fault so there's a bit of a conversation that went on down in the comments it uh, it goes as follows game has incremental lean and I think it includes a tiptoe system as well not sure and then he posts a link to the gif which is just the gift that was on uh, the front page of the official website. And then somebody replies to him saying, Minishu would be shooting over a crate or a window. Not really the leaning stuff I've seen in the gif. Before I never noticed the high stand. And then somebody replies with that. And then the person that wrote the comment at the beginning replies back to this guy saying, In all seriousness, look at the gif. You can pull your gun up high and stand on your toes. And the developer replies with, Correct. Correct. You could take a high stand to look over objects, or a low crouch to look under things, as well as left and right. Bullets will leave the gun barrel, but sometimes will assign a deviation in trajectory if the player is moving and shooting. A throwback to the classics in a way. Haven't had many issues with shooting into cover instead of the target. And then the guy that posted the original comment says, Maybe it's just me, but since SWAT has to clear rooms, which are sometimes a bit larger than allows from bullet spread quite fast, wouldn't it be detrimental to have spread on movement? I've died more than once because my shots didn't hit where I needed it to when I tried to clear a room. And the developer replies with, It's still a work in progress, but the effect is cumulative. Spaced out shots will lead to accurate fire, while movement with full speed with rapid fire will slightly affect your accuracy. This is also mitigated by aiming down sights, so the effect is mostly present in hip firing. So further down the line, there is a person that talks about how the leaning will feel in Ready or Not, and uh, the developer says, 
you're just gonna have to wait and see what it's like in game. It's all well and good to imagine the system, but experiencing it is another thing. It feels really nice, otherwise we wouldn't keep the accuracy system in. So yeah, that thing with squad, uh, yeah, it does bother me a lot, and I find it very annoying, especially when I'm behind cover and all of a sudden I see a bad guy and I shoot and the fucking bullet just hits the goddamn cover. Yeah, that's annoying as hell. Um, I hope that that's not in there, but, you know. Moving on to the next one. Yeah, yeah. PvP. I've been on this subreddit for a while, but I seem to have missed a key part of PvP. Is it gonna be SWAT versus SWAT? I'd assume so, since we recently heard that you will never play as the bad guy in response to the active shooter game controversy. You know, this is actually the first time I've heard about that controversy. Can somebody explain in the comments what it's about? I think it would be a shame if a troll game ends up having an effect on a great game. And the developer replies with, To be clear, the suspects in our PvP have identical systems to the SWAT, with the same same goal of making arrests, although for different reasons. We'd love to create an isometrical game mode, but it's a bit of a big bite right now. Moving on to the next one. Will there be a stealth system? I believe one of the people in my Discord said that they had actually posted this comment, so let's go ahead and read. I think it would really fit well. Adding a stealth system backslash option would add a lot of replayability to the maps, and the modding community will go nuts with it. If the suspects don't know you are there, you could catch them off guard, giving you a much higher chance of them not retaliating. There would be a chance of them shooting or yelling backslash screaming, but much lower. If there are cameras, or you make too much noise, they will notice you, and are not ready to retaliate. If you make some small noise or hit something, they will be curious, and go check it out. Just an idea we were talking on Discord about, and the developer replies with, you could sneak around our AI, and make arrests that way, but it won't be easy. Ooh, that's kind of cool, actually, that you can make arrests without uh, alerting your enemy. That's a neat, neat, neat idea. Great suggestion by the person in my Discord. Won't name any names, though. Moving on to the next one, we've got... Will this game launch on GOG alongside Steam? I prefer to buy my games on GOG, but it's not a deal breaker if it isn't. Uh, so the reason why this guy is talking about uh, GOG is because they give you digital copies that don't have DRM attached to it. And I should already state that uh, they said that it was only launching on Steam, and that's about as much as I knew. But the developer replied with we'll look into it moving on to the next one this next one they talk about the interview that they did with no frags the french uh news er, news people i guess i don't know what to call them. and it's just basically him acknowledging so i'm gonna read what it says here at its heart the game honors the work of the brave police officers around the globe this is in no way to glorify obnoxious and cowardly criminal acts thank you this game is going to be great. And the developer responds with, we're doing our best. Moving on to the next one we've got. Could you please tell us if you joked about the battle royale mode in the no frag interview? And the developer responds with, ready or not we'll have a 3500 by 3500 kilometer square map with Humvees, AC-130s, <laughs> parachutes, <laughs> and airstrike available to players if they kill enough <laughs> in an all out battle royale. <laughs> You can also customize your weapon skins <laughs> to be pink, neon, and change calibers on the fly. <laughs> so you can have that 50 BMG M1911 you've always wanted. In all seriousness, we have enough on our plate. <laughs> uh, I had a feeling it was a joke. Well, that was funny. Moving on to the next one. We got user-made translation? I was wondering if fans will be able to translate the game in their native language. And the developer replies with, what language? We're hoping to have a few translations out. And then that person replies with, mine's more of a generic question, but personally, I can help translate the game in Italian. And then they reply with, molto bien, whatever that means. Molto bien? We'll probably be reaching out for people in translation when it comes to our biggest player base. Well, that's kind of cool. Never hurts to have different languages, you know, for a game. I'll be going to the next one. The theme song? What is the classical song in the trailer? Kind of hooked to it and want to listen to it more. And the developer proceeds to link the song, which is Air by Batch, or Bach. Is it, is that a German song? Johann Sebastian Bach Air. At least I think that's how you say that. I could be wrong. Correct me, German viewers, or you know, European viewers. Moving on to the next one. Console leaning? So I saw one of the blog posts that there would be a pretty great leaning system on PC, but I am not sure how that'll work with console, as there are less buttons and no mouse wheel really to work that. So how will that work? And somebody else in the comments simplifies them for him. Hold the button and use analog to ling, most likely. Yep. 
Yeah, it's very common. You know, I can't actually think of a couple of games that do a leaning system on a console. I know Rainbow Six Siege does it, but, you know, I haven't played console, well, console shooters in a very long time, so I don't know. I guess moving on to the next one. Free look would be extremely helpful. Left alt key in Arma 3. It allows you to look around while keeping your weapon pointed where you want it. Just a thought, what do you think? And the developer replies with, we've been looking into it, but our alt key is occupied. I assume the alt key is the lean key. And the developer replies with, correct. The lean key is alt? That's interesting. Hmm. Alright, moving on to the next one. What are the chances of trolls taking over this game? <laughs> Likely. I was trying to get my friends into possibly buying the game, but they mostly dismissed it due to the large amount of trolling they said the game would have. They also stated how any multiplayer game will eventually become about trick shots and flicks, which worries me to an extent. What measures are in place to avoid intentionally screwing with other teammates in game and ruining the strategy attempts? How will actually creating a strategy be emphasized for winning? And what consequences are there for trolling or just going Rambo? Hmm, this guy makes a value valid point. Holy shit. And the developer replies with, highly unlikely. For starters, we're not online play only. There's a single player and co-op. You can also host dedicated servers, or on regular servers, vote to kick players. Our player controller and systems disparage trick shots, and turning quickly also forces your officer to readjust his stance, just like you would have to do in real life. So no flicking without some good luck. We're not going to baby our player base though. There will be a report button, but you'll have to deal with toxic players, like you had to in older titles like CS Source. What a comparison. That is, by unanonymously agreeing to remove them from the server, calling an admin in, etc. Mm, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, because, you know, I hate fucking assholes that do that kind of shit. Moving on to the next one. Map types. Will there be open space maps or will there be just CQC backspace close quarter maps only? I saw the post about a battle royale mode and how it has a huge map. Do all the missions or such happen in that map? So basically, I was wondering what types of maps there will be. And the developer replies with, we don't have a battle royal mode <laughs> that post was sarcasm what you, you can't do sarcasm with text it doesn't it, it, it would have to be like really well written for it to be sarcasm. We have a share of open and closed maps, but not open in the battlefield sense. It'll be clear when we release more info. And the last thing that's on the list, will body backslash legs be visible? If you look down in the game, do you see your body and legs, similar to games like Siege and Squad? Nothing kills immersion more than floating arms, to be honest, LMAO. And the developer responds with, legs are visible, so are your shadows, and your body backslash head will cast a shadow onto the FP arms. Torso could be made visible at some point too, but for now we're keeping legs and that's all we have for reddit uh now we're going to move on to an anonymous tipper but i mean to be honest the information that he gave to me wasn't anything significant i mean there was a couple of things there's a couple of things that have caught my eye but nothing too major so I got an anonymous tip from this guy. He uh, he actually gave me the name of the person that got the Latina role for the voice acting stuff. And uh, I looked at the letter that, that was written and it's written exactly the same way as how they sent the letter for me. But the thing is, is that they didn't give me a role. So maybe I didn't get the job after all. Who knows? Moving on to the next one. So before we found out that uh, the mod developer of the SEF mod was working with Void Interactive, he actually released some information that I found intriguing. He says here that he was working on a AAA game project. And I, honestly, I think what, what's happening here is that he's just trying to throw people off saying that he's working on like a AAA game. But what if Ready or Not is a AAA game? Wouldn't that be crazy? I mean, a lot of puzzles would fit to fit together. Like it coming out around E3, it's coming to consoles. They never said who their investor w investor was, so I mean, it could be a AAA developer. So who knows? I mean, it, that'd be crazy. All right, so this is where I mark the end of the video. I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Click that bell notification, you know, if you want more of this kind of content. Join the Discord if you want to talk to me, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.